Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to another video. Um, I have been pretty sick lately, uh, I don't know if you can tell with my voice, but I am very, very ill. Uh, they thought I had COVID at first, but I got a test and I do not. Uh, I think it's just a head cold, but I am leaving for vacation tomorrow, and yeah, I kind of won't have a video up for a very, very long time. Um, probably about a week or two, um, but yeah, so I just wanted to get, I uh, published two things, I, I think, yesterday, so I just want to get, yeah, one more video out today, and it's going to be about, uh, zero ticks, so I was messing around with a lot of zero ticks in this world, I got really bored one day, and I just came across this in my world saves folder, but yeah, it's actually really interesting, I have just, like, random instant layers, I don't know. It's kind of random. I have an update suppressor for some reason. Uh, two carpet dupers. That's like one point. I think this is eight million carpets an hour. It's kind of stupid. Um, just random instant wires and zero tick generators that have all been shown. Um, old zero tick. I don't know. Zero tick clocks. Like this stuff is just really janky. But yeah, I've come up with a new zero tick that is considerably better with all these, and it is completely dustless. Uh, so, I don't know if this has been shown before, I'm not really too, kind of, into the zero tick community, or whatever it's called, but, yeah, I was just messing around and I found this, uh, so I was messing around with this instant wire, uh, just uses a classic bud piston and then rails in the middle, and you can scale that up to have eight rails in between, and just, when you press it, all of them activate, but if you put a piston above this, you get a zero tick, so, it's kind of interesting in the way that it works. Yeah, I, I didn't really know why either. I don't know how this works at all, but it's kind of interesting, so I thought I would show it. Uh, I don't know if this has been shown before at all, but yeah. And then this I came up with just now. It is possibly the smallest zero tick generator. So as you can see, you get your zero tick, and it's really small. So uh, you could also, you know, expand this. You could have it going upwards, this is the first one I had, it was considerably bigger, but, you know, you still get that zero tick, it's a little bit longer too. Still works. Um, you can't do it going down, because the piston don't get butted going down, so, you know, nothing's going to work going down, but up, it does work. Uh, you don't have to have a redstone block on top, even. Um, yeah, and this is just the simplest one I came up with. Let's put it up. So you do that, it's that, zero takes it, uh, going to the side even. Yeah, it's, it's pretty uh, nice. Uh, it is not tileable, I tried tiling it with uh, honey. This does work with honey too, which is nice. I'll make sure that. So it doesn't have to be just slime, but if you were to try to tile these together, it would not work because... Even if you had uh, just rails there updating them, it wouldn't really go well. Um, yeah, I just think it's a really simple zero tech. I don't know if this has been shown before, but I don't know. It's pretty cool, considering that this was the only one I could find on Google. Um, it's pretty slow. You can't spam it. It's just a stone button. These guys are like four game ticks. This is not the correct one. I think it actually, it's supposed to be like... Uh, I want to say that. No, I don't know how these work. Maybe these work. Uh, this one's actually pretty neat. You can run a redstone line off of it, and it gives it zero tick. And now it's broken for some reason. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> um, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, you can run a line off this, and it gives it zero ticks. It's pretty nice, but it's not... As fast as just like running an observer clock even into this small one. Oh wait, that doesn't work because it's part of that. Oh, uh, you need a block there. Whatever. Um. Yep. You can put an observer there, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, you can go wild. Is can you do that? Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh. I'm not really too profound in this technology, I just figure this out before we show it. Yeah, it's really simple. 
I don't know if anybody's seen this before, but yeah. And it's spam proof, so that's not really doing. Well, now it's not spam proof. Uh, I guess it's not spam proof then, because logic, but whatever. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Um, I mean, you can sit there with it without a fast right clicker, and it works fun. Yeah, uh, you could use this is probably really useful for tree farms. Uh, you could probably take an output with this. I, I assume I don't actually know. Oh, I don't know if that's zero tick though. Let's see, is it? Oh, maybe. Yeah, you could take redstone outputs with this. I think it's zero ticks. That's actually pretty interesting. But yeah, this is the simplest I think I could find. Anyway, this is all inspired by this instant one. I'm not gonna leave Matics in the description or anything. Just I think it's pretty self-explanatory how to build this. Um, if you are building it though, uh, and you want to place the block in the top first, like that, or else. Well, if you update that, then it starts a clock, so you'd have to somehow place a block there. Yeah, but yeah, uh, you can kind of just do whatever. Really, uh, you can probably run a redstone line here. Or, oh god, how would you do Talus? Do observers put pistons? I don't know. No. <laughs> um, probably just a uh, rail line then. Yep, there you go. Just use a rail line next to it, and you can get. Basically tileable zero text if you want tileable, I would go with something more of this approach. But still it's kinda messy because you can't really I guess you kinda could maybe. No. Definitely not. Don't do that. That's a bad idea. <laughs> and I broke it. Yeah, it's just kinda messy and just messing around in this world. Nothing too serious, but I thought that it was uh, pretty interesting that you could do zero text like this. I did not know that at all. Until just today really. I came here, I was like, wait, could you like tile one of these modules just to get a really small zero tick? And yeah, you can. And it's kind of spam proof, so that's nice. Um, yeah, I want to have a video up for a little while, uh, I apologize for that. Um, I'm going to Illinois, so that's going to be interesting. I'm going to like some lake, my parents rented out a, a cottage, or like a lake house almost. It's not that big, but whatever. We were packing all today, and kind of the past week. I still have to pack my bag for the car, or the whole time there. I haven't done anything. Kind of been lazy around the house. Uh, but yeah. So, if you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments. I don't know if it's been shown before. If it has, uh, just let me know, because I, I don't want to be claiming that I'm the first one to do this when I'm really not. Um, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. You could also do it like that and have a upwards one too. So you can both at the same time. And we're there. How crazy could you go with that? It's probably four is the limit, I think. Yeah. Oh no, wait, you could go to the side too. You're getting maximum zero tick right there. <laughs> this is this is why I don't have that many friends. This is because I do this. Yep. Um Yep, any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, let me know if I'm not the first one to do this. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know why this notebook is getting powered by that. Uh, it's kind of weird. I think it's just when you change the note that it will update. Uh, but yeah. Alright, uh, yeah. Bye. See you guys in a couple weeks.